Hi there, you are watching a video of pressure vessels in industrial plants. At the beginning of the project, it is essential to estimate the weights of different components. This consideration is logical and easy to understand. However, it is not easy to estimate all these loads in the early stages of the project, mainly due to the lack of definition of the components. Normally, the weights for the different phases in the life cycle of a pressure vessel are defined in the following way. Fabricated weight, necessary to determine the lifting load, cranes and equipment. Empty weight, useful to define the weight of the vessel during a shutdown of the plant. Operating weight, essential to calculate wind and seismic loads acting on the vessel. And finally, the test weight, needed to determine the loads acting on the foundation of the vessel. It is worth mentioning that all these weights described above shall be considered in the non-corroded condition. This way, this way, the loads are conservative, worst case scenario, highest weight. To define the weights mentioned before, the weight of all components, internal and external components, must be defined. Overturning moments and loads at the base of this equipment depend mainly on the weight of the vessel. These values, overturning moment and base shear, must be defined and be available from the very beginning of the project, for the design of the foundation of the equipment mainly. The weight calculation for shells and heads is very simple. For the case of the shell, the weight of the cylinder is determined by considering the thickness and the specific weight of the steel. For heads, the weight of the disc necessary to shape the head is determined. Vessel supports are one of the last elements that are designed in a pressure vessel. This is due to the fact that in order to select the thickness of the supporting elements, all the loads acting on the vessel must be known. The weight of the supports is estimated according to minimum thicknesses and job specifications. Elements welded inside the vessel such as vortex breakers, trace supports and internal baffles should be considered. Depending on each type of vessel, the weight of all these elements is usually estimated as a percentage, for example 10% of the weight of the shell and heads, except for small equipment where these weights can be negligible. Also, in large diameter vessels, it is very very important to consider the weight and design of these internal elements in all engineering stages. As commented before, the estimation of in internals is very very important. One of the internals that it is more, more difficult to estimate are trays. A basic estimation uh, could be uh, 7 kg per square meter of internal trays. Also, there are some other charts and indicative tables that provide an estimation for tray supports, such as the one that is shown on the screen. Welded elements on the outside of a pressure vessel such as ladder supports, platforms, vacuum rings, insulation rings and piping clips may vary significantly with the diameter of the vessel. There are different rules and guidelines to estimate these appurtenances, external attachments, such, such as the, the one shown on the screen. Usually, 
the actual weight of the platforms is not available until the layout of the pipes that interconnect the vessel is defined. Once the location and number of platforms has been estimated, the total weight can be estimated using a ratio of 125 kg per square meter.